What's up, Dirty Cones? Uh, so today is all questions and answers. Um, so I hope I answered them well. Uh, Miss Maroney had a quick question. I had already got my waiver for having astigmatism and needing glasses. However, will this make my time at Indoc down the pipeline harder? I normally swim without contacts or anything and do just fine. Thank you for your time. From Cody Haig. <clears throat> Cody. Uh, great name. <laughs> we named the dog Cody. Um, yeah. I know a lot of guys blind as bats. Uh, can't see too well in the water. Um, if it makes you feel any better when your goggles are flooded or you have no mask on, uh, everybody's eyes <laughs> just can't see nothing. So... Uh, I can't imagine it'd be too much worse off. Um, it can hurt you sometimes, you know, I, I'm glad sometimes when I have really good eyesight, but I know lots of guys that have not the best of eyesight and they are able to survive as well. So, um, I think, I think you'd be all right. Just, uh, learn to distinguish shapes, color sizes, big people, uh, whatever, you know, just learn to go, oh, okay, a, a blob that looks like that is, you know, average size male, yada, 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 um, I think you'll be good, so good luck, thanks for the great question, um, on what it means to be a cone, Cam the Legend says, you make your titles way too enticing, uh, Cam, that's because if I don't make my titles enticing, nobody will watch them, um, I'm starting to pick it up about you guys. If it's too long, you won't watch them. <laughs> if it's got some r rambling quotes from uh, the abyss, people are like, mm, doesn't sound good. I'm, I'm going to watch something else. So, uh, got to make them uh, as good as I possibly can. Um, how many meters underwater should I be able to go before Indoc from Suicide Sasquatch? You should be able to at least do five 25 meter underwaters. Swim underneath, 25 meters, freestyle back at a three-minute interval. If you can do that, you should be all right. Um, if you can do better than that, then yeah, go for it. But uh, minimum, that's my uh, answer. Uh, Suicide Squash, Sasquatch says Savage Sloat. Man, there's... <laughs> Savage Sloat. All right, Suicide Sasquatch. 25 meters should feel easy. Get to the point where you can do 25 meters and be able to turn around and do an additional 5 plus meters. That's a good answer. Or more, right? This is just minimum, so aim for more. Uh, Kev runs on Duncan. He uh, says, I agree with this. I've been practicing for a while, and 25 meters is no joke. Still have no idea how SEAL candidates do 50 meters at Buds. Um, everybody that's going to a combat dive school has to do 50 meters, so uh, not just them. Um, John Browning says, hey, Mike, what kind of physical requirements do I have to reach in order to pass Indoc? That is a very vague question. Uh, there are a lot of ways to answer that, but listen to a couple of the videos where I talk about uh, past standards. Um, they are currently testing the new past standards, so uh, be prepared for that to come at any time. And, and while we're talking about stuff like that, I want to thank... Uh, the curdy, the the curdy, the dirty cones who came to uh, help me move. Um, I'll, I'll give you a pan. Boom, a mess. That's that's why I'm focusing on my wall right now. I'm in the middle of a move, but I need to make a video for you guys because uh, I felt bad. It's also a horrible time to launch a website. The this is the only place you have the internet, and it's at a uh, now defunct, <laughs> empty home. So, um, physical requirements, do the four horsemen workout, be tough, be brave, uh, swim a lot underwater, learn to tread, live well. Those are, <laughs> listen to the videos, the answer is in there somewhere. Um, Joey Schnippel says happy holidays, so happy holidays back to you. He, he responds uh, if I write something good. So thanks for always being there. <clears throat> Let's see. Savage Sloat says, solid vid. The cone mentality lives strong. Um, he says, 
Uh, definitely notice when you are the one who is different amongst people, uh, amongst everyone else. They hate us for being different and dreaming and daring for more. Who ya NFQ. Yeah, people don't know what to do with you. But it's all right. There are others like you out there. You just got to find them. Um, how tall are you? This is on uh, PJ Long Q&A Part 1. I am 5'5". Five five. Christopher knew that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think I've said it before, so I, I just thought it was funny. I was like, dang, this guy knows how tall I am. Um, guys, ask some rucksack questions. Um, Zach Pilmore says, check out the Go Ruck site. They have awesome quality gear, plus they also do rucking events. That's true. Um, so hook up with them, you know, for more... Uh, I'm not saying I don't give workouts. Uh, just, you know, if I give you a workout, you get hurt. I'm going to feel bad. Um, so if you get workouts from these guys who actually um, do it for a living, I'm not saying I can't do it. I, I do do it, but I uh, I try not to. I try to keep this more of a philosophical place. So um, just ideas. Um, but, yeah, get comfortable with wrecking. Um, on uh, Hero of the Empire, uh, Jason St. Fountain, he, it is quite scary when I see both your hands are not on the steering wheel. Look at this. I can do my knees. I'm not too bad. Um, and, you know, usually an elbow or something. I, I do have control of the wheel, so don't worry. Uh, People's Exhibit C, he admitted <laughs> your honor. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> McLovin says, how often do PJs and CCTs get to shoot? Um, quite often, actually, a lot. So, uh, if you like shooting, you will get plenty of time to shoot. Um, hey, Mike, also from McLovin, do a lot of CCTs start working as private military contractors after the Air Force? Um, I don't know if you can say a lot, but I know a lot of guys that do. It's possible, if you want to. So, if you feel like it, go for it. Um, yep, all right. So PG and A, PG, PJ Q and A Connect question is uh, from Rob, Roberto Delgado. What's up? Anyways, I just need a bit of direction on the CRS stroke. I've been looking for a tutorial and can only seem to find a combat diver stroke. Also, is that one absolutely necessary? Or will I be fine with just freestyle leading arm, trail arm, and keyhole stroke? Um, I do have some uh, fin videos on the combat recovery stroke. It is, um, I'll put a link down below if I don't find it. Um, yeah, so the combat recovery stroke, the Navy does, uh, combat side stroke, or I think they actually call it CRS. It's a little bit different than ours, um, and I, I actually can't figure out how to do theirs. Um, I, I feel all, uh, discombobulated. It's a very hard stroke to get down. <laughs> Uh, but I do ours just fine, so I don't know. Um, if you only could come here knowing how to do one stroke, I would say freestyle. If you could only do two, freestyle and then keyhole stroke, and then three, lead arm, trailing arm, finning, and then you can figure out combat recovery stroke when you get here, because you won't do it till oh, third, third, fourth week maybe, uh, when you go to the lake. So... Uh, great question. Good thinking. Um, thank you to Roberto also saying he liked the video and to George Pentecost. Um, Jorge Gonzalez uh, wants to know, should I be lifting weights in my prep for indoc or mainly calisthenics? You want to do both. Easy answer to his question. Um, you want to do everything. I mean, you want to focus on lifting weights per se, um, but you want to, you know, do whatever makes you stronger, and weights will definitely help, uh, plyometric, isometric, everything, so, uh, do what you can, good cardio, and swim a lot. <clears throat> good luck, John Browning, you'll, you'll get your pass next time, bro, don't worry. Um, Justin Reyes, your, um, all right, so you said, would love your insight, sir. Does it look about right? You sent me your, your numbers. And what's the trick to minute 30s and buddy breathing with full harassment? So the trick to minute 30s is uh, mind over matter. 
you don't mind, so you don't matter, and you just make it happen. Um, relax, economy of motion, do good strokes. Um, relax. Do more of them. The more you do, the better it'll get, so don't worry too much. Uh, buddy breathing with full harassment. So before you can do buddy breathing with full harassment, you want to be able to buddy breathe. So, um, so buddy breathe by yourself or with a buddy and just pass the snorkel, right? Roll your shoulders forward and just little breaths, right? You learn to drink <laughs> or breathe water and dirty water is just dirty water. So it's not too bad. Uh, so Justin, on your six mile run, you need to come down, um, 46 seconds, I believe. You got 44.06, and I think it's 43.30 for the max, Maybe, but aim for 42.30. Um, <laughs> my max me 42.29, but, uh, not bad. I, I passed, right? I was happy. Uh, 2,000 meter open water fins good, pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups. Now, when you guys have these high numbers of push-ups and sit-ups, I'm not saying they're not real numbers, but they might not all count. Uh, I mean, unless you were going all the way up, all the way down, right? Chin above the bar, let flat and level. Um, so if you think you're doing 20, hopefully you are doing 20. Uh, 100 sit-ups could be push-ups. Uh -huh. A lot of guys, maybe 80, 90, but your numbers look good. Uh, 25 big meter. So... I hope I answered all your questions. Everything looks pretty good. Um, Silent Troboop says, Horchata! Oh yeah, one can never go wrong with a large Horchata. Uh, if you have not had Horchata, it is, uh, I, I believe it's proof that God loves us. And it is an awesome drink. You should check it out. Um, in your nearest Spanish Mexican restaurant. Um... Jorge Gonzalez also asks, hey, Mike, will the Four Horsemen workout prepare me running-wise? The Four Horsemen workout will prepare you for everything. And then, um, so you think you want to be a PJ. Uh, Cody, uh, you'll, you'll get it, bro. Don't worry. Um, prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, summer is hot, so wherever you're at, you need to be training heat. Get used to it. Um, I'm not saying, you know, run around in a wetsuit. <laughs> uh, used to do that for wrestling. It, it does help. It makes you miserable. I think a lot of the things I did for wrestling kind of prepared me for Indoc. But, um, just get used to being miserable. Uh, summer's bad here. Um... Is a Levy Lopez Ortega says, haha, I see you've been working on your titles. <laughs> Very true. It's what I'm doing. Trying to uh, help you guys out. Uh, Tony H says, I dealt with my now ex-girlfriend for 10 months. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for anything Prayer Rescue throws at me. That is a great uh, thought process. I, unfortunately, it's not totally true. But if you keep telling yourself that, uh, you'll be ready. Um... Augie asks, have you ever seen anybody so prepared for Indoc he got through like it was just a workout? I have seen more than a couple guys do that. Um, one or two of them were PJ's kids. Uh, one or two of them were rescue swimmers or SEALs kids or, you know, just beat by their father. <laughs> so, um, it, yeah, dude, you can be prepared. It's, it's rare and it's hard, but if you can do it, go for it. Um... Rafael wants to know where the surf party is. I will let you guys know when uh, the Inland Surf Park's open again. Um, it's been too cold for uh, for people, so uh, <laughs> we haven't been open. But we will be open soon. Um, Nathan Weltman asks, or he, uh, he asks, do you find it difficult to communicate with Debbie Downers because of your optimism? And how do you react to someone sympathizing for you when you always have a positive mental attitude? Or how do you react to someone? sympathizing for you I don't know um I don't think I get a lot of sympathy occasionally I might get some and I appreciate it uh, but I don't always have it uh 
positive mental uh, positive mental attitude uh, is the only way to be. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's hard to communicate with people who are um, whatever they are. You know, Debbie Downers, miserable people, people who don't appreciate life. Uh, what was it? I was listening to the other day and they were, it was like a vet talking and he was like, you just don't, once you've like been there and seen that and you know, you're still alive, it's like whatever. And, um, I'm not saying it's, it's always a good thing to have that kind of a, to have gone through that to get that mental optimism, but hey, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Um. Although, if you watch Dirk Gently, uh, if it doesn't kill you, it just really hurts a lot. <laughs> so, uh, pain is life, and it proves you're still alive. So, um, just keep going. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, guy asking about Tap P. Uh, thanks to John Doe for um, giving him the uh, link to the closed book on Facebook for a uh, closed group on Facebook with the uh with tac p so that that was very cool of you thank you very much um and that is all the questions so far i believe um like i said i want to thank all the dudes here we are right. preparation for experience one, one more actually there might be a lot more all right, P per uh, preparation versus experience. I'm a PJ wannabe. I pass the pass for only Cedar and Tech B. Which of those two jobs would be more beneficial to one day cross train a PJ? Uh, they actually both could be. It's Jane, Jake Cook. Uh, they both could be miraculous, amazing reasons to um to go. So. Uh, which one do you like more? you like camping or talking on the radio? <laughs> I guess that's a simplification. It's an oversimplification, but it's... Um, I don't know how you... Do you like teaching? Um, do you like being out in the field with the army? You know, if you answered either or, then Sear might be the way. If you answered, you know, you like hanging out with the army and talking on the radio a lot, then Tech P might be your path. Um, hmm... 